flowered one. I would like to share this dream with you that I had. And in this dream, I was with the angel Gabriel. And the angel Gabriel was showing me the planet. And he was telling me that it was getting hotter and hotter. And I saw people building houses under the ground and in caves, anywhere they could get away from the sun. I saw the sun burning the trees and the oceans were getting hotter. The oceans were getting so hot, church, that the fish and the whales in the sea were just dying from the heat, from the heat of the water because the change in the water, it was getting hotter and hotter. And the angel Gabriel showed me Alaska and it was melted. It, there was no ice. I saw no ice in Alaska. It was so badly flooded that it even reached Houston. And the animals in Alaska were dying because of the climate change to their weather. And I saw flooding, severe flooding in New Zealand, China, Italy, Japan, Taiwan, Indonesia, and Canada. I made a video last year on the flooding in uh, New Zealand and Canada. But God knows what's happening to my video. So, uh, church, I'm not removing my videos. I don't know why my videos are being removed. So I just wanted you to know I'm not taking down those videos. They are just disappearing. But we all know who's behind it. The devil is. And the angel Gabriel was showing me earthquakes everywhere, splitting the earth open. And in the dream, I saw people running, trying to lead their own nations. But there was nowhere to go. They wouldn't allow them to lead. They could not go into other nations. There was huge tidal waves from the water and the ocean getting hotter and hotter. Oh, they were huge. They were horrible. I ain't never seen nothing like that before in my life. And the earth was getting so hot that it was causing the volcanoes to erupt in Chile, Hawaii, Iceland, and Japan. I, saw, I, I even saw them in more places than that church. And the angel Gabriel said to me in this dream, he said, this is only the beginning. He said, this is the destruction of your planet. He said, before the return of Jesus, the third part of this earth will burn like an oven. He said, this earth where you are standing upon will be a lake of fire. And I said to the angel, won't the meek inherit the earth? He said, yes, the meek will inherit the earth, but not this earth. They'll inherit the new earth. He said that, oh, I, I'm telling you, in this dream, I saw some stuff. I saw uh, the beast coming upon this earth in Jerusalem, rebuilding the fallen places of David. How oh, he was rebuilding it. He was rebuilding the temple. For all you that are asking, is the temple going to be rebuilt? Oh, yes, it is. I saw it in this dream. I saw that beast rebuilding that temple. The temple of David. He was rebuilding the city of David, the seats of David, everything that had to do with David and his throne and his city and his kingdom and his tabernacle and his sanctuary. That beast had it all rebuilt, renewed because he was sitting in it. Yes, he was. Sitting up in there with the name of blasphemy all over on his forehead. Oh, Lord help us. And in this dream... I saw people walking around with sores all over them, all on their faces, their arms, and in their head, and on their hair. And it was caused by the sun. And the sun was so hot, it was burning houses. That's why the people were trying to move underground and move into caves to get away from the sun and the heat of the sun. And the angel Gabriel spoke to me and he said, there will be a water shortage and a food shortage. And he said that this will continue. The weather will continue to grow worse. And I said to the angel of the Lord, I said, how many times do I have to hear this? He said, until people repent and turn from their evil deeds. I said, that won't happen. He said, then it will continue to grow worse. He said, stand back. You will see the storms that are to come. They will, be, they will be the worst storms on the earth. And he said, and look up in the universe. You will also see storms in the universe. Storms 
on other planets and high winds. He said change is coming. Now in this dream, I saw the collapse of money. I saw people taking money and burning it. I saw, now we know silver and gold is not going to be worth anything. So if anybody's telling you to buy silver and gold, I would advise you not to do it because it's going to be of no value. I promise you that is the honest to God truth. It will be of no value. So don't let anybody have you running out buying silver and gold. And in this dream, when I saw that beast, oh, you should have saw him. He was rebuilding. He come to deceive the world that he was restoring Jerusalem. He came at a time when it was all out war. It was World War III. It was all out chaos. He's going to come at a time to where it's going to be the destruction of the earth and the, the destruction of man. He will come at a time to it is all out chaos. And he will bring order in this chaos because he's going to deceive the world into believing that he's God. And he's going to sit in that temple. I saw it, church. I saw it in this dream. I always wondered. You know, I said, Lord, we know that Jesus is the temple of God. And the Holy Spirit kept telling me. He said, yes, but Revelations 21. Doesn't my tabernacle come down from heaven? Don't I have a tabernacle, a dwelling place? Even though I dwell in the body of uh, my saints, is there not a place for the body to dwell in? And I said, that's right, my Lord. You sure do. He said, so will the beast. The beast will deceive the world into believing that as God, that he should sit in a place of beauty, a sanctuary. And he don't want no ordinary sanctuary church. He wants the one that Solomon built. Because you know why? Because that's the, third, that's the sanctuary that's in heaven. That's the sanctuary that's from above. That's the sanctuary that they came down on the top of the mountain and showed to uh, Moses and told Moses to build that place. And we know that David wanted to build this place and his son Solomon built it. That's the place, church. That's the place that beast wants to sit in. And that place has been destroyed 70 years after the death of Christ. But I promise you, Mark my words, church, that you heard me say this, okay? I want it to go down in record that I told you they will rebuild the temple and the city of David. They will. I saw it in this dream. So get, look up, church. We're about to see some stuff happening on this earth. The weather's about to step it up another notch from what I've seen in this dream, and it's going to get worse. It will not get any better. Because you see, it has to be at a time of chaos. So this deceiver that's coming into the world can deceive the whole world that he is bringing order and calm at a time of chaos. That only God could bring order. You see, church, the deceiver's coming. He's coming. Yes, he is. So God go with each and every one of you. And may he give you the strength and the courage. And let me say this, please. One of my dear, precious brothers in Christ uh, left me a comment the other day. And he said that there are so many dying all over the world for Jesus. But so many of us say that we would lay down our lives for him. He said, would we? If you saw them killing the torture. And he's right. He's right, church. You know, we say that we would lay down our lives for God. But it is easier said than done. And I told this dear brother, I am not a fool, nor do I say hastily, Yes, Lord, I'd lay down my life for you. No. I say, my prayer is, Dear merciful God, If the day should ever come that I have to lay down my life for your word and for the name of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I pray that in that moment you will give me the strength and the courage to be able to lay down my life for you. Because that is my prayer. Because we've seen what Peter did. Peter denied Jesus three times and he, he saw Jesus. He touched Jesus. 
So let's all be praying that same prayer, church. Whatever we have to do, Father, give us the strength and the courage to do it. You see, we receive the Spirit of God by measure. But Christ received the fullness of God. He, he, received, he was not given the Spirit of God in measure. So he had the fullness of the Spirit of God. We have been given the Spirit by measure. But I believe when that day comes, the Holy Spirit of God, the fullness of the Holy Ghost, the baptism by fire will come upon us. And boy, we'll, you talk about being bold as a lion. Woo! We'll have some strength and some power, won't we? And courage. We won't be afraid of nothing, church. Because that will be God leading us and giving us that courage and that strength. Amen. Because I can do all things through Christ Jesus, whom strengthens me. God bless you, my dear precious friends. I love each and every one of you. And I am praying for each and every one of you. And keep me in your prayers. God bless you, church.